Hey guys, it's Mallory, and we're playing some Risk. I'm doing a Caps game. It's going to be five humans and one neutral bot on one of my least favorite maps, Command and Controller. I wanted to give this a go, though. And there are stable portals and blizzards. Now, right away, I'm seeing that one of the most holdable bonuses on this map, which is this plus three, it does have a portal. So that's going to help a little bit. Blue bot caps over here in the corner, so they're not going to really be a problem for us. Red capped in this corner. This is a bad cap. Pink caps up here. Purple's capping in here. I would like to cap on a portal. So I'm going to cap on my three. This is also a bad cap because purple can be broken through this portal and his cap is going to be trapped. I also think the red cap is going to be very easily trapped. And then orange also caps on a portal. My my best guess is that this is not going to be a bonus game. Um, these bonuses are just way too hard to hold with the exception of this right corner. But because no one capped over here and there's a portal, I think that's all going to be really easily breakable. Red already well on their way to having a completely capped or a completely blocked cap. And I think I'm just going to like cap stack and get easy cards until I until I see what the full situation is going to be. Of course, doing my normal settings, which is no fog alliances on blizzards, stable portals. Um, on fairly open maps, I, I tend to be able to play between like 20 minute and 40 minute games on these kinds of settings. I have never done these settings on this particular map, though. All right. Is pink also already botting? That's really annoying. If so. Red is Kenam 62. Blue bot, um, pink is Alonzo Lie, purple, Ricardo Guzman, I'm green, and then orange, Yesus TB51. No, pink is still here. They just like skip their turn for some reason. Damn, that was a good roll. Wow. Let's see how purple splits, right? Are they going to go off cap completely here? They're guarding with twos. Yeah, I'm going to break that just to be a rebel rouser. I'm going to rabble rouse a little bit. And then I, I have an 11 cap, still nice and strong. Um, because I'm capped on a portal, I will be able to keep breaking that over and over again if I so desire. Orange is also just chilling. Oh, they're taking maybe some territory, some board. Lost a 3v1. Unfortunate. They have a nice strong cap, though. Is this corner red is in? 
Is this holdable? So they would have to, it would be a three point hold. Portal, two external bonuses. Seems like they're kind of making a go of it. They might be able to eventually do that. There's some pink over here in the corner though. Okay, who is still here? Red is still here. Pink is the one that skipped their turn. Purple is going to die mad at me, I'm sure. Everyone is still here, allegedly. See, in this, uh, you cannot, you can zoom in, but you cannot zoom out. So, like, we can't even fit, like, this full thing on the screen without cutting off a little bit. But that's okay. Four v three, and they won it. Uh, that was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Okay, we're just gonna keep breaking this because I don't know. It, it, I find because I, I find it to be funny. Like there's there's no other reason other than I just think it's funny. Lost nothing. Pull this onto my cap. Let's make an alliance with this guy. Okay, pink is officially offline. So pink and blue are bots. That means... Um, like some of the other games I've played, that means this is going to be a really slow game at first because the trades are going to come in really slowly. In four-player games, it feels to me like the trades um, just take absolutely forever because you have the 4, 6, 8, then you have the 10, 12, 15, 20, then you start to have 25, 30, 35, 40. So it, it feels like to get to those big trades, like it, that's not until like turn 10 that that happens. Ooh, this is balanced blitz, right? Yeah, it is. Lost four on a four. Red is going to start to have a really weak cap here. They do have a lot of territory, though. Red's still here. Pink is gone. Purple's still here. Orange here not accepting my alliance. They probably think I'm a psychopath because they see me just relentlessly hitting purple. Purple's going to keep trying, bless their little heart. Unfortunately for them, I'm on a portal. So I take red down on territory. I break purple. And then I continue to portal stack. And this may be a mistake, right? Like, purple is probably going to get so frustrated with me that they just blast me. I could definitely, definitely see that happening, right? And orange really wants this cap. Orange may be eyeing this long bonus up here. 
eventually. That's not a terrible idea, especially because um, all the neutral blue over here, that's like kind of helping to protect things. Red is going to get close to finishing this bonus. They do need to hit this four, though. And then red might kind of be orange's problem a little bit, right? Maybe I stop breaking purple and see what orange has to say about it. That might be a mistake, though, because I don't think orange is going to care. Me pissing off purple, it, it legitimately, it may have been a mistake. But it kind of feels like I can't stop now. Right? Like, I made my bed and now I have to lie in it a little bit, right? Like, I've committed to this purple war. And, like, now there's just, like, no going back. Pink is officially gone, which means they won't continue to get troops. Blue bot will continue to get troops forever. I do think orange has a pretty good shot at getting this nine cap, especially maybe once um, he gets a trade. That seems to me to be what orange's long-term goal is, is getting this cap. Oh, are they trying for it right now? They're slow rolling it. They got a bad slow roll. Ooh, they almost missed that fortify. Ooh, that was a close one. However, they did take red down under 12. So that was, that was positive. Now there's a glitch because their turn ended so funky. They, they almost accidentally missed that fortify. That would have really been unfortunate. Okay, red is kind of hitting orange now, and they've got a six sitting right next to that cap. So red, it's like red and orange seem like they're going to... Oops. Red and orange seem like they're going to be in a fight here, and then me and purple are in a fight, and then pink and blue don't matter. That's kind of what this looks like. Purple is also very, very easy to card block. Really easy to card black. He is forcing me to come off my cap, though. I could have, if I had put everything here, it would have been a 6v1 and then a 5v2, which I could have lost. So coming off my cap, I, I had to do it. But now I do have a big strong cap. I also have a wild card that I do not have to use. Horse trade wild card. So I do have a guaranteed trade on three for the second set of trades. But again, the trades, like these trades are just not going to be worth it for several more turns. Orange is trying to slow roll again. 
they're getting bad rolls. I played an Alcatraz game yesterday off, you know, offline. This guy slow rolled my cap. It was 111 versus my 101. And by the end of the slow rolls, I had 95. So I hadn't even lost like 10 troops total. And he had 84. He lost 30 troops slow rolling me. It was just minus three over and over. Minus three, minus three, minus three. It was so funny. I felt so bad for the guy. All right, Red keeps putting right next to this cap. I think what Red's hoping for is that um, Orange does a cap roll and then gets a bad roll and then they can swoop in. But also, I'm, I'm seeing now Orange card skipped. Just now, they did not get a card. They are quite weak. I'm not sure if that card skip was smart in this three player situation, four player situation. Okay. If purple had been smarter, they could have taken me out of here and then stacked everything on this portal. It would be impossible to break in here if they did that. But instead, they've weakened themselves greatly. And if they think I'm not hitting that 12, they got another thing coming. Because I definitely, definitely am hitting that 12. Lost 12 on it. But yeah, purple actually could be really dangerous here because of this neutral bot kind of protecting them. If they had taken me out of here completely and stacked on this portal, there's almost nothing. I could come through this four potentially. Okay, so orange is going to get 4, 6, 8. Orange will get the 10, 12, 15, 20. Is that how that's going to work? Red has a lot, a lot of territory, but their cap is so bad. Red's cap is so super bad. And thankfully, I go right after purple. So if purple were to just kind of slam me out of nowhere, I, I would thankfully have a turn to recover. Frankly, I think that's coming, right? Like, they are, I, I'm sure, I'm sure just getting so, so sick of me. I won't be able to keep affording to do this much longer. In fact, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm not going to bother to break them. I am going to hit this, though. Because now, outside of this portal, they are pretty freaking trapped, right? They're holding what? It's a plus three? Yep. 
Orange gets this cap. Pretty good roll. They lost 13. That's not that bad. They're going to do a little split guard, 17 and 13. If purple doesn't trade on five, or if purple doesn't trade on four, I might be able to kill them with the, you know what? This three is really hard though because of these freaking neutral bots. That three is difficult. All right, red has a lot, a lot of territory now. They've almost got this bonus. Purple finally gets to hold. They have nothing on cap. They did trade. Frankly, that was smart. And if they take me out of this corner completely and stack everything on that portal, purple's in pretty good shape now. Interesting, they didn't do it. That actually surprises me. I'm not going to trade yet because, again, the trades are just teeny, teeny, tiny right now. I need to be sure to keep a very strong cap, as strong as possible. Because now I am definitely going to be the underdog here. Orange has two caps. Um, red has a really good kind of corner position. They're probably going to be holding this bonus soon. Orange is going to hold a bonus soon. And I've shown myself to be quite the rebel rouser. So now I think I need to kind of chill out a little bit. Because I am potentially in some trouble here. Ooh, red broke orange. That is helpful for me. 7v4, is that what that was? No, it was a 7v5 and they won it. I have been seeing some absolutely crazy rolls lately. Like rolls that should not be possible. Okay, red is awesome. Love you. Let's be allies. I absolutely love red. That was incredible. That was incredible. I love this for you, red. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. I loved that. I loved that so much. Yes, love you. What does purple do about that? Are they just going to quit? Purple is probably just so furious. If you're purple, are you not just beyond furious at the situation that you found yourself in? <laughs> Okay, purple does not open this portal. I get to keep my wild card. That's amazing. Purple thinks I'm not going to break them, but they are incorrect. Got a 50 cap.
this purple three is very very problematic i per i think purple is going to be really killable because especially if they stay off their cap like this but this three i have to get through an eight to get to this three Orange comes down and ruins red's life. Yeah, makes sense. Orange also has a nice big cap. Are they going all the way up to break? Yeah, sure did. Sure did. I wonder why orange didn't accept my alliance. Purple is not quitting. They are not giving up. They are in some big, big trouble, though. Really big trouble. And having none of their caps, or none of their troops on cap is problematic. Really problematic for them. I'm not going to break both of these. I'm just going to break this one. The trades are starting to get a little bit bigger now, so I want to be careful. Ooh, 69. Dab. Let's see. Trades are up to, we're at the 30 now. So red, probably first to trade, they get 30, 35, 40. Orange and red continuing their war. I would absolutely love it. I would love if purple did not have a trade here. If purple does not have a trade on four, I can kill them. That's what we need to watch for is we really need purple to not have a trade at some point. Them being ahead of me in turn order means that I, I need them to be, like, supremely, supremely unlucky. Because they will always get the opportunity to trade before I do. And as we know, it's usually me that is unlucky, right? I am usually <laughs> the one. No trade? No trade? No trade? No trade. Oh, my God. Okay, do I have enough? I need to blast through this freaking eight. Do I have enough for that? The trades are only at 30. Should I do this? I gotta go fast. If I'm gonna do it, I gotta go fast.
Ooh, that was a close one. That was a close one. This portal is my more important cap. I need that one to be strong. Oh man, I that I I almost ran out of time. Almost ran out of time. Attack orange. Sure thing, buddy. You got it. Yep, yeah, love you. We can attack orange. Totally fine with that. Especially if they let me hold all of this. If red does not break me here, I will gladly join the fight with orange. Why is red putting that like random seven in no man's land? That doesn't make any sense. Ooh, is red going to take that 15 cap? Interesting. Okay, red is completely off cap and guarding their stuff with a 28 portal. They also just took orange's cap. I'm going to pretend to not have a trade. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to attack orange as I was requested. Go on my portal. I would like to see what orange does here. Orange does not trade. They go to take the red cap, which is a terrible cap. It's such a bad cap. Red? Okay, red may be able to kill orange here. They need a trade to do it, though. That 18 cap. I don't know. They can't. So I'm going to kill Orange, get the five cards. All right. This game is over, I think. I'm pretty sure this game is over. Puts two on that cap. Okay. All right. So, portal, bang, 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 portal, bang. That's what we're going to do. Wow. Two people very, very unlucky in not having trades. That's super unlucky. I do want to leave a little something on that. Okay. I'm also going to take that cap. What do I need? Like 43 should be good, right? 99. Got it. Killed him. And then now I just have to kill red. Which I can do. I gotta, I, I gotta do this right though. I go quick. Ooh, 
Come on. Oh, I ran out of time. All right, Red probably has a trade. But I, I have too much on cap. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, he has a trade, but I, I still have too much on cap. Like, th these caps are very weak, but, like, the these other ones aren't. So I'm still okay. Ran out of time. He was still in a lot of spots. Oh, interesting. The blue bot doesn't matter. He he wants second, but like he already has second. So with neutral bots, like they're they're he already has second. Good game. Okay. Now I can get him. Oh, and I just cap ran. Okay. That was that was a fun one. That was interesting. This is I think the first game I've played on this map that I actually enjoyed. So maybe this is not a bad cat map. Um, we had three beginners and an intermediate. I hope you guys like that one and we will catch you next time.